And now for something completely different. Um, this is my stick inspiration, or maybe imitation, of John Denver's intro to Eagle and the Hawk. I'm using um, a tuning of E, A, D, G, C, B, E, A, D, G, gives you matching notes on the inlays there. Anyways, um, but in this case I'm doing, in the right hand, I'm doing a second inversion of a B major chord. Then it comes down to an A, then a G, an F, and an E. All those second inversion major chords. It gives you a kind of a flamenco type. Flamenco type of chord progression. Now John Denver did this with uh, letting his B and E string ring out, um, and he kind of did a kind of a, a version of this chord, but he throws in the root below it. But this sounds pretty good if you also let an open E in the guitar range ring out. Or I like to bring it up to an octave, so like a middle E. Then I hit a B over here, and an E. And I'm sure you can figure out how to do this in the other tunings. So the idea is kind of droning these two outer E's in this B to imitate the droning on the guitar. Okay, and then bringing the chords down. He starts off with the guitar doing that, and I think the orchestra comes in on the second time. And then at the end of the last chord, uh, he starts singing in a high uh, high voice that I can't imitate, and I won't. <laughs> Where he goes, oh, I am the eagle, etc. All right. Um, when I do this one live, I'll do the, the other part with uh, just melody. Um, but to kind of imitate the manic strumming or something exciting, I'll add some delay and do a... And then to imitate the second run through, I'll bring up the right hand part up an octave to create some more excitement. And then since these two drones are getting in the way, I kind of do pull off sort of things. next part. Anyways, so that's sort of a stick intro of The Eagle and the Hawk by John Denver. Thank you.